Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video we're going to be talking about is green power motor a, a buy? Is the stock currently a buy right now? In my opinion, I, I personally don't like the market cap of how much, like the market cap currently where it is. I think uh, you're gambling on the company really executing and uh, growing their business in the near term because the the market cap is still quite high but that doesn't matter um, the uh, stocks are worth as much as people are willing to buy and sell or people are willing to buy uh, and green motor power does have a very tight share structure it has about 50 million shares and if enough people just buy a little bit every day a little bit every day the stock could still push uh, to the upside simply because the float is extremely tight on green, green power motor, and you know it doesn't really require a lot of money to push the stock price up. That is my own personal opinion. Uh, so and it could be a good day trade thing. It could be you could you know you could buy uh buy it when it's red. And then hope that it goes green, and then sell it for like five to six percent profit every day. It could be. I'm not saying it's not, but that's what I'm. You know, this is my own personal fe uh, feelings, anyways. Very good food company. So it's up three cents today. No, uh, not too much to say about that. Beyond Meat is. Um, up three dollars and eighty five cents. Kensington Capital Quantum uh, is up. Wow, just five dollars and fifty seven cents. This company is hot. Just doesn't want to seem to stop running. Maybe I'm not saying this is financial advice or anything, but you could buy a little bit. And uh, you know, just buy a little bit every day and. You know, uh, if it has a ever you no know, buy a little bit, so you don't you don't get that FOMO, and then uh, on a day where it's like super red, you know, then you know maybe and then determine if hey do I want to add a big position here or do I just want to stay away from this company? You know, that could be a strategy. Just saying, not financial advice. GameStop, uh, GameStop. Got an upgrade today. Big money still still wants to push this to the upside. I would say that GameStop is uh this is not financial advice, but I think GameStop is currently uh will go up. Like I'm not gonna buy any, but I kind of think it's a buy, especially if you see like a really big red, buy a little bit and then just scam like gamble. Uh, gamble that the stock will continue to go up until earnings time and then at a, a day before earnings if the stock is up a lot I would say uh, take some profit or buy some put option to protect your, your profits because the day of the earnings is also the day of the launch of the PS5 and I have a feeling when the PS5 comes out, I think this stock's going to tank hard. But that's just my opinion. We'll see what happens. The Solo. So tired. So tired. Yep. So tired is uh, retarded this morning. Oops. Did I might get uh, <laughs> I might get demonetized for that. Uh, yeah. Well, this is just my reality. It sucks, but... Management just refuses to like. I mean, I if if they if they launch the solo cars and there's more solo cars on the road, maybe investors would be more optimistic. Or if they release delivery numbers, maybe investors will be more optimistic. Like for example, they could do like a Tesla. Like, oh, we delivered a thousand cars this month, or we delivered two thousand cars this month. When investors start seeing those delivery numbers, maybe the stock will go up. I have no idea. I mean, how much lower can it go? It can go to $2, but at $2, I think Solo is a fantastic buying opportunity. Uh, so, 
you know, I think at these ranges, it's okay, it's an okay buying opportunity if you really believe in the company. Just saying, it could also be a good swing trade. It has a tight share structure, and the and the liquidity is decent. It's trading like, you know, at least couple million shares every day, like four million, four million, eleven million, uh, two point eight five million. It has good liquidity, so you know, if you were to sell it, you could easily do it because of the liquidity. So it could be a good swing trade stock. Or day trade stock if you're into that, um, and it's also um, you know has potential. But just saying, I'm not you know not financial advice. G M H I. This is also a company that I like very much too. Tesla Tesla stock is up today ten dollars and fifty cents. I was kind of, kind of sad about this because I want the stock to go down further. Oh well, whatever. That's just the reality of it. Stocks are volatile. Neo up seven cents. GPHC this morning up thirty cents, recovering from yesterday's crash. Workhorse. This is also a company I hold big too, so I really like this company too. I bought it when it was like. Uh, eleven dollars, I think, or something like that. I can't remember. Well, I'm up quite big on this, so like twelve. I bought a little bit at eleven. I bought some at twelve. Yeah, twelve something. Can't remember it. Workhorse skyrockets today, seventy four cents. Well, it's not skyrocket, but it's up seventy four cents. Looking very positive. People are using the green day to buy up workhorse candy. Candy stock. Candy stock is recovering a little bit this morning. Uh, uh, Lithium American Corp is up four cents this morning. Blink, Blink is down twelve cents. Nikola is up seven cents. Plug, Plug Power makes no sense in my mind. Like the market cap makes absolutely no sense. But hey, that's just the reality of it. Disney. Disney is up 80, 86 cents this morning. Apple is up $1.52 this morning. Rocket Company is uh oh, it's down 4 cents this morning. It's not too bad, but it's it is what it is. Uh GameStop is I don't know what GameStop is doing currently. It's trading sideways. Let's look at some of the US, uh, some of the MJ companies. Aurora down seven cents. Canopy uh, up ten cents. Cron uh, up half a penny. Afria. Afria is down three cents. Uh, how about Tilray? Did Tilray just know? Tilray up three cents. Um. Let's look at some of the High Tide. This is a company I own. High Tide up half a penny. Uh, Harv up two cents. Jeremy's pump and dump. Sorry, Jeremy's pump uh, up uh, down twelve cents today. Kira down two cents today. Hive, wait no, True down one point thirty one cents today. Liberal Health Science up two cents today. Uh. 
Um, Cresco up uh, nine cents today. Cresco either is a good opportunity to you know do some swing trading. Could hold it long term, not financial advice, but you know just saying. Well, that's all I really have to say about this company. Anyways, uh, because at seven dollars, it's almost at a support. I mean, the lower the better. Like if it's five five fifty nine, that would be pretty attractive price. I would buy some at five fifty nine, but I don't know if it would drop that low. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe for future updates, and have a great day. Bye.